Hello and welcome to Burger Gang. Uh, the video you're about to watch today is something that we shot about two years ago. The footage has been lying around for ages. Um, we shot the video with um, as a pilot for Warner Music, highlighting how fabulous Bleecker is. I um, want to say a massive, massive thank you, firstly to Bleecker, to Nathan at the Butchery, and to Donkers, uh, greatest farmer of all time. Um, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Harley for being involved in it. Rick Edwards for being the greatest voiceover in the history of television. Um, and that's about it. Enjoy the video. Some of you are probably going to fucking hate this. It's very different to a lot of the stuff that we normally do, but the message is important. So go ahead and watch that. For the last five years, the guys at Burger Gang have dedicated their lives to eating and learning about their favourite food. Now they're turning their attention to the world of British street food. They'll be travelling across the country to find the UK street food heroes, the chefs, farmers and fishermen, dedicated to bringing you the UK's freshest fast food. This is Burger Gang Raw. So today I brought you down here because in my opinion, this is one of the most outstanding burger restaurants in London. Okay. Started as a street food vendor, very small. They've built their empire. Mm -hmm. um, and now their kind of, their meat game is, is, is on charts. fleek, as kids on, say. I don't like that term. I hate that term I too. Hate it. Is that a term, was it like old and now it's come back? Or I don't think it? it was ever I anything. I hate it. Maybe we can start with a, a morning beer as well. Breakfast beer. Now Hello. we're talking burger game. Hello. Let's do it. This could be potentially a life-changing experience for you. I know you're a well-traveled guy, you've been around the world, but this is a great burger. Holy shit. Banging, right? Wow. Everything about this burger is exceptional. Mm. From the burger, to the sauce, to the bun. The sauce? The sauce. I eat a lot of burgers and I eat a lot of meat. And I'm not... It's a good burger, right? I would say that's the whole point of this mm. shit, is to like, give you a real opinion. I wouldn't fuck about. Cheers. The journey has just begun, bro. Bleaker lived up to the expectations Hello. that I'd created. And some. And some. So, Ted, why is a Bleaker burger the best burger going right now? The, the main, the, the star of the show with Bleaker is the beef. So it's all about it's the meat, fun. yeah? Yeah, it's all about the meat, 100% beef, nothing else. Uh, and it comes from the butchery, a uh, guy called Nathan Mills at the butchery in Birmingham. See, I've heard of Nathan before. A lot of people speak very highly of this guy. Apparently he's, he's, a, he's a meat god. A meat he is a god. meat god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm being serious you as well. yourself as a meat god? I'm a meat minnow. I'm a meaty minnow in, par <laughs> in comparison to the meat gods like Nathan. Ted, thanks for your time. So Nathan, Nathan is who we need to find. Nathan Mills. I can't let go of this burger, beautiful burgery you paw of his. You hand too long. I, I looked very awkward <laughs> cupping your handshake. The burger quest continues. Nathan Mills, let's go. So we went across town to Bermondsey to go to the butchery to find out what makes his beef so outstanding. Being the meat lover that I am, I'm just mildly apprehensive about um, the meat mansion that we're about to go and set foot in. Yeah, how do you feel? A leaf just fell out of the tree and I go jittery. Bit so. twitchy. <laughs> what are they saying? It's quite tight. You're gonna be in there with quite a lot of animals. But, ah, <laughs> very real. Hi guys. Harley was kind of following my lead on this, so he was nervous, if not more nervous than I was. It's quite overwhelming, but it's not as, I was about to say as disturbing as I first thought. You look quite I'm concerned right disturbed. now. What would be the ethos of the butchery then, of what you do here that you could put it into? Um, we kind of break it down into real farms, real butchery, real meat. 
that, that's kind of our simplistic thing. My base has to be predominantly grass uh, pasture fed. Right. Um, and it also has to be a native breed to the UK. The farmer can spend all of his time, so 30 months, looking after one of these animals, and it goes into a slaughterhouse and some idiot does the wrong thing. It completely ruins the whole carcass. Really? Okay, so if this animal is stressed at the point of slaughter, I might as well put it straight in that. No way. Why? Yeah. It won't eat the same. It just won't eat the same. There will be like, huge blood splatters all through it. It's just adrenaline. You know, you know yourself when you're, you know. So the actual right. killing itself, I see, I had no That's idea about that. Yeah. So, so the killing itself has to be done in a certain way that yeah. isn't stressful for yeah. the animals, so, so it doesn't affect the meat. In the most humane and stress-free environment as possible. And to bring it back to Bleecker, where, what, what would we be looking at cow-wise and where, where would you send us to see where his burger came from? Farmer from there, right behind you, Stuart Dunkley's beef. Stuart, uh, Dun Stuart Dunkley. Dunkley's. Dunkley. Dunkley. Dunkers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should go up and see him, really. Yeah. Nathan's a prime example of a man who clearly loves animals. He taught me so much. See you guys. From being genuinely quite concerned about what we might see in there, expect, expecting some sort of Texas chainsaw massacre style ship. I feel, I feel I great. great yeah. And he was, he's amazing yeah. because like, he's kind of installed a lot of faith in me in the sort of whole meat industry. And that, he really gives a shit. Yeah. And, really like, I genuinely don't think I'll ever go to like a big brand shop anymore and just buy a steak because I'm hungry. Yeah. Like, my whole perception on it has changed. It spurred me on to make more of an effort to buy the proper, the proper thing. Yeah. So Dunkers. We're gonna go and see Dunkers. See you next week, Dunkers. We're coming for you. Let's get on the road. Whoa! Oi, chill out, dude. <laughs> so a couple of weeks down the line, the second leg of the Burger Gang journey began, and they headed up to Northamptonshire to meet the guy that was responsible for this beautiful beef, the Dexter farmer, Dunkers himself. Do you know what, Dunkers, Dunkers has just been bragging about how good his moo is. About how good his moo is? He reckons he can do an unbelievable one because he, when I said, does it help? He was like, oh yeah. He loved those cows and he had a relationship with all of them. They followed him, he listened to him, he was like a man and his dog. It's the fucking cow whisperer. They are fans of Dunkers. Nathan was involved in the, uh, in the World Stake Challenge. He had a pure Dexter supplied by Dunkers Dexters. Dunkers! Yes. <laughs> it got a silver medal, silver. which we, we were very chuffed about. Dunkers! Yes. So, you, so, like, sort of bullshit aside, you've won, you've got award-winning cows. Don't, don't um, mistake the fact that my part in, in the equation is relatively small. So, it's getting looked after here and treated well. It's then getting passed on to a butcher who's looking after it and doing everything proper, who's then being delivered to chefs that are preparing and cooking it in a way that is exactly. essentially put it on the top of the pile as the best burger in London. There, there, there are many uh, links in this chain. But you three are the, you three are and the ones. Yeah, well, we're the bottom feeders. <laughs> yeah. Our link in the chain is, <laughs> we just we're just trying to show the world. Since we visited um, Nathan two weeks ago, I haven't brought any meat to the supermarket. Because yeah, right. me off no. Forever. If I can change your buying habits yeah. and ensure that you go to the butcher for your meat, yeah to get a little bit better quality, then that's, you know, part of my job is, winning, is, is, is done. Lewis, <laughs> yes. what did you have for lunch? Let's not get into that. I, I can't remember what I had for lunch. I had sandwich. Okay, we'll, we'll come clean. We did something terrible. We did something really... Down. Why would get, why are we I'm, telling I'm him? I'm concerned. We told well, him we on the way down here... Don't we'll tell me you had the veggie burger. No, no it's no. not as bad as that, I mean. God, it's never that bad. I'm, I'm not happy with myself. Yeah, I feel a bit shameful now, I'm not gonna lie. Burger King. Uh, oh, no. oh no. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. It's just a shame that even out in the country we, we don't do public floggings anymore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
So there was this one story that Dunk has told us about a prematurely born cow that he ended up hand rearing. Because it was so small and weak, he had to raise it with sheep, so bizarrely, he's grown up believing it is a sheep. He literally thinks he's a sheep, the cow. Here, here, here he goes, here he goes. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. When we left Dunkers, it was a wrap. It was time to head back to London, meet a few of the boys, have a few beers, have a few burgers. Hot dog! And spread the good word about Bleecker. done it we've finished we've been on the journey i mean can i consider myself like a you know like a burger guy but i've learned a shit load in yeah. the last couple of days doing this so like you know it all started off innocently sat there at spitalfield eating a burger that's fucking delicious right and if it wasn't for for firstly bleaker being exceptional chefs yes. the nathan. patty wouldn't wouldn't be delivered the way it is yeah. you would fail you go to nathan he starts to sort of you know, unravel the the story of what makes what he does so integral to this 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 chain of, of beef. To then go to fucking Dunkers. Dunkers. Who, Dunkers. <laughs> who is one of the most exceptional men on the planet? You couldn't meet a nicer man, and a lot of that stuff would be overlooked. At Dunkers will raise a cow for thirty months, like nearly three years. Nathan will. Hang preserve it. that cow 50 for day, 40 to 50 day aging. A few months. It's like a four year, like three and a half year process. Yeah, yeah. We know the journey. We've been there. We've done it. <laughs> Cheers. Let's hug it out. Let's hug it out, man. Burger gang. Burger gang for life. Yeah.